Hey there, welcome back. In case we haven't met yet, my name is B, and I love to code the heck out of Squarespace and teach other designers how to do it too. For today's CSS trick, I bring you a very quick customization that you can apply if you want to move the button inside mobile menu in 7.1 closer to the links. If you tried to achieve this before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's not really an option in Squarespace that allows us to have everything sort of in the middle of the mobile menu. So we need to use a little bit of CSS to be able to make that happen. Luckily, the process is pretty straightforward. So if you're interested in learning how to make this happen, go ahead and keep on watching. So here I have my 7.1 side and let's go ahead and take a look at the mobile navigation right now. So if I were to open this up, you're going to see sort of the, like the default layout that we have here in Squarespace, where we have the links all the way up here. And then we have any sort of additional call to action all the way down here. So we have the button and we have some social links. Now, keep in mind that this customization is going to work whether you have only the social icons or only the button or if you have both things the same way that I do. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening. So if we were to inspect this part of this container here, we're going to see how we have the header menu actions. This container is just holding the social icons. And then here we have another one that's called header menu CTA. This one is holding the button. And then this one up here is holding the navigation links. So you can see that if I were to stand on either of these two containers here, there's not really like a padding or a margin or anything that is sort of pushing these elements away from the links. However, if I look at the links themselves, you can see how there's a lot of sort of like purple space at the top and at the bottom. So whenever you see this purple space, it just means that there is some flex space available in there. Let's just call it that. So you can see how this has been set to display flex. Now, the problem here is not necessarily the display flex itself, but it's actually another property that is a Flexbox property, which is called flex grow. So you can see it in here that flex grow has been set to one. And what this means is that if there's enough room available, then this particular container that has flex grow applied is allowed to expand and occupy as much space as possible. So that is precisely what is happening here because there's a lot of space available because there's not a lot of elements in this whole screen. Then this particular container, the links container is allowed by the code that we have in here to expand out and occupy the rest of the space. So you're going to see that as soon as I disable this flex grow of one, what happens is that everything sort of collapses at the very top. So we can see how we have the links and now there's no more purple space at the top or at the bottom. And then right underneath that we have the action. So we have here the social icons and then we have our little button. So the first thing that we're going to do here is target this container that has the flex grow applied of one and set that to zero. So let's go ahead and reuse the same code that Squarespace is using here, the same selector to be able to make that modification. I'm going to grab that and head over here to my custom CSS window. Add my little code. Oops, I have two periods there. And then let's go ahead and set flex grow, grow to zero. And like I said, by doing that, we can see how now everything sort of collapses at the top. Now you could absolutely leave this as it is, if that's the look that you're going for. However, if you want to align this to the center, so if you want to keep all of these things in the center, the way that they were before, but by having these things sort of closer to the links, then let me show you how you can make that happen. If we go here and then go back to this container. So again, we have the links, we have the actions, we have the CTA. You can see how all of these three containers are siblings. So they're sort of sitting at the same level in here in the HTML, and they're all sitting right inside this other container that's called Heather menu nav folder. So this Heather net menu nav folder is another flex container. That's why we're seeing the purple space underneath. And the thing is that this container is currently having all of the additional space or available space right underneath its children. So these three elements, what we want is to distribute that space differently. So the way that we can do this, because this is a flex container, 
is by using the justify content property. So you can see that here on the right side, the justify content property is present and has been set to flex start. What flex start is doing is making sure that those items inside this container, so the children, are sitting at the very top of the container. If we don't want them to sit at the top, if we want them to sit at the middle, then what we can do is change this property to center instead. So let's go ahead and reuse this little selector here and change that justify content to something else, justify content. Now there are a couple of values that we can use in here and it all depends on how you want to align things. So if you simply want to align all of this to the center, what you can do is simply use the keyword center and that is just going to move everything to the middle of the screen. If you wanted to align all of this to the very bottom of the screen or of the container, what you can do is change this to flex end. And now if you wanted to sort of distribute things here evenly, what you can do is use a one of two additional keywords. So one of them is space between. And what that is going to do is that it's going to evenly distribute the space in between, like the word says, the elements that we have in here. So if you were to have only this, like the links up here, and let's say the button or the social icons, then what's going to happen is that we're going to have one thing up here and the other thing down here and nothing in the middle. So if you wanted to go for that look, that's how you can achieve it. Another thing that you can use in here is space around. And if we were to use space around, then what's going to happen is that the space is again going to be distributed in between the elements, but also at the top and at the bottom of the first and the last element. So you can see how we have space here and space here and then space here, space here, space here and space here. Now, of course, this is not the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back to center and save this. And now we have everything neatly centered and without any extra spaces right in the middle of our mobile menu. And that's it, my friend. That's everything that you need to do to be able to move that button or the social icons or both things closer to the links inside your mobile navigation in Squarespace 7.1. If you found today's tutorial helpful, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on other customizations just like this one, and I will see you next time.